Are you not making enough money at your regular base game dairy? What about some chocolate milk, whipped cream, sour cream, cream cheese, dairy and cream factory right here? This is what you need. How's it going, everybody? Driver 53 here, and today we're going to be going over the Cream Factory by Newell Gaming. Now, this released on October 18th. 2023 this is available for all platforms yes console players you are going to get to use this as well not only does the dairy and cream factory have your regular butter cheese and chocolate recipes but it has some additional ones for chocolate milk whipped cream sour cream and cream cheese to place the cream factory down onto your map you're going to go into construction then you're going to go across to production you're going to stay in your factories and then go across until you find it over on the right hand side you can see right here cream factory it's going to be a base price of seventy thousand dollars and you can see that the important parts of it right here are going to be over on this side right here this is where you're going to be able to dump off your product there with the trigger the uh, dumping trigger right down here in the bottom right hand corner and then over here on this side this is where the product is actually going to spawn at when it's time for you to pick it up you can rotate this thing around any direction that you like to and then like i said seventy thousand dollars unless you need to do some terraforming and then it will automatically do it for you once you've got a place down on the map you come around to this corner over here and this is where you're going to be able to access all of your recipes once again you can see that you've got the base game ones now something very very interesting about this is that you're not going to be able to make as much money with the three base game recipes as you are with a regular dairy but hold on there's the, you're going to be able to 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 use those in some other recipes down here at the bottom to make a ton more money so you're going to lose a little bit up front but you're going to get it back here at the end and believe me it's worth it guys absolutely worth it so the one thing you're going to see that you need in each of these recipes is going to be empty pallets how do you get those the first way is you're going to go into objects come across to pallets and then you're going to go all the way across until you see right here empty pallets part of the cream factory you can see for 2,000 liters of pallets it's going to cost you 380 dollars you could also come down here to your mods and dlc section go across the cream factory again and then they're just right here under empty pallets now you've also got iodized salt which you're going to need in another one of these recipes you get this the exact same way you come down here it's the only way you're going to be able to get this you cannot make it you have to buy it and this one unfortunately is a thousand dollars for a thousand liters and if you don't want to buy pallets and you actually want to make it because you enjoy logging we'll go to construction go over to your production go into your factories and then go across to right here now this is pallet company but you're going to need the magic bean production mod by the same modder, Newell Gaming. You're going to need it installed. Now, if you're using that one, it's going to use empty pallets as well. So maybe, maybe you just go ahead and uh, download both mods. Both mods. I'm going to be doing another video, taking a look at the coffee. It actually makes really good money over there too. So maybe it's worth running both of them. And then you can actually just use this and make your own pallets yourself. At $60,000, you put wood or planks in here you're going to be able to make your pallets instead of having to buy them and that's a better option for you so that's everything you're going to need to get started except for cows right how many cows do you need as many as you can every time somebody asks me how many cows do i need as many as you can afford to feed so let's go ahead and take a look here at a spreadsheet you can see that the first three recipes your butter cheese and chocolate once again they're, they're the exact same as what base game is okay the exactly the same the only thing is you're not going to make as much money right you've got your estimated normal peak sell price is the way i'm doing this right now normal economy and the estimated peak and what that estimated normal peak sell price represents is your seasonal fluctuations the highest number that i saw over there on the right hand side of the screen so for wheat that's 732 dollars that is the price that i put here into this chart you know you're not really going to make a whole lot of money on your butter only 961 dollars but your chocolate i mean 2300 cheese 2800 roughly but then you start coming down here into your other recipes now for chocolate milk what you're going to need is your chocolate and milk and some empty pallets but the thing is you're not actually going to make any money on this because it devalues your chocolate all right you're going to lose almost three thousand dollars every single month if you run chocolate milk i'm not sure why it's set up this way because you don't use chocolate milk later so it should actually be worth a lot more your chocolate milk is actually only worth one thousand seven hundred and six dollars per thousand liters but your chocolate is worth 38.88 so it's a really really big hit because the thing is um it takes seven chocolate and seven milk to make chocolate milk so it's using quite a bit of product there to be able to to, to to try and make some money and it just doesn't quite do it on the math so maybe a little bit of an update a little tweak needs to happen here but 
as of right now i would not run chocolate milk also whipped cream i wouldn't run it just by itself now you're gonna need whipped cream in some later recipes but by itself i would not sell your whipped cream okay because you're only gonna or you're gonna lose about 1700 dollars every single month if you just take it and you sell it at the highest available price now what i mean by that is the way that this works is the price that you're seeing here and the profit that you're seeing that's more than what you could get if you sell the items by themselves without turning them into that production so for whipped cream if i sell my milk my empty pallets and my butter the input of one cycle i'm going to make a certain amount of money and then if i sell the whipped cream at 130 units i'm going to make 259 dollars 48 roughly okay so what i'm saying is that my inputs are more valuable per cycle than my output is that i can sell so of course i'm going to lose money but on some of these recipes the output is worth a lot more than the input and those are ones that you do want to focus on whipped cream by itself do not sell it store it or distribute it that way you can use it in your sour cream and cream cheese recipes now your sour cream it's going to take whipped cream that salt that we talked about earlier so you have to buy that to figure out how to get it over here but if you do that you can make about forty five hundred dollars extra every single month so you can absolutely sell your products outright before you do anything else to them you're not gonna have to worry about anything else and then you can just go ahead and make your money but if you want to spend just a little bit more time and have that another process happen you can make that extra forty five hundred dollars every single month on this you've already got the building right so why not go ahead and make that extra money or if you want to make about seventy eight hundred dollars you could do cream cheese because all you need is your whipped cream your cheese and your empty pallets so you don't need to go buy an extra product here as in the salt your cheese could already be made here and your whipped cream could already be made here also now like i said seventy eight hundred dollars is roughly about what you're going to make every single month and with this building only being seventy thousand you're definitely going to pay for it within the first year you're going to make it um worth it it's going to be profitable after about nine months all right after about nine months then you're going to be good to go maybe 10 depending on if you got to do any landscaping things like that so within the first year you're going to be making your money back on this you just have to let everything go all the way to cream cheese so i think this is an absolutely great mod once again there's a couple of them that i think need just a little bit of a tweak but other than that you should definitely definitely invest in a dreamery cream right here the dairy and cream factory enjoyed the video learned something today go and give it a thumbs up if you would if you want to stay up to date on my future mod review videos here on the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell too and while you're waiting on those future videos go and check out one of these two right here have a great day night evening everybody until next time this is driver 53 signing off